We're going to begin by understanding two important concepts, cross-connection and backflow. Cross-connection is a link between a potable water system and a non-potable source. Backflow is the reverse flow from normal operating conditions. Let's take a closer look at these two concepts. Pressurized water systems typically flow from high to low pressure, such as a water main toward a home or a business. During water main breaks, mainline pressure is reduced significantly and may approach atmospheric conditions. When this occurs, water from homes and businesses, or in this case, the tanker and the pond, flows back toward the main. Now let's go into a neighborhood to see how this scenario plays out. Here is a model of a typical community, fully equipped and operating with a closed loop water system, much like you would find in your own hometown. From a community hospital to a rural farmhouse, a school, funeral home, residential neighborhood, and local restaurants. On this day, all of these facilities are going about their daily routine. As the work at the funeral home continues, the contaminants here will be simulated with a red solution. Contaminants from a restaurant also appear as a red liquid. Down the road on the farm, this blue water represents a cross connection from a garden hose left unattended in a pond. Let's see what happens when a water line breaks in front of this restaurant. First, Public Works employees arrive on the scene to assess the situation. With a broken line, it's obvious the water main has to be shut down to make the repair. For a moment, the busy town takes a pause. The work slows because the water stops. It's a minor interruption to the busy workday, but within time, the repair is made and the work crews turn the water back on. The line is pressurized again. Let's look inside each facility to see how the water and the contaminants from the funeral home and the pond make its way back to the facilities throughout the community. In the school, you can see red. Contaminants from the funeral home have made their way to contaminate the school's water. The same is true in the restaurant and the hospital, as evident by the pink tint in the water. And down the road in the rural farm area, remember the hose that was left laying in the pond? When the main line broke, pond water backflowed into the main water supply line. Once the repair was made and the line repressurized, contaminants were dispersed throughout the water system, as evidenced by the blue tint in the water at the grocery store and the nearby homes. It's important to remember that in this demonstration, the contaminants are visible with the colored solution. But if this scenario would play out in your own neighborhood or community, the reality is that many contaminants are odorless and colorless and would not be clearly evident to you, your family, or even the workers on the front line until it was too late and the contaminants reached a dangerous level. If the proper backflow preventers had been installed throughout the community, the contaminants would have been contained and the water would remain safe. 